Imagine this, what if the way you talk to yourself could change your entire life? What if your inner dialogue could actually help you manifest your biggest dreams and desires? It may sound surprising, but it's a reality that many have already discovered. And today we're going to show you how to unlock this power for yourself. In this video, we're diving deep into the world of self-talk and manifestation. We'll explore how the words you use when you speak to yourself can shape your reality both for better and for worse. You'll learn practical techniques to shift your self-talk from doubt and negativity to confidence and belief, helping you manifest anything you want in life. But here's where it gets really interesting. The words you repeat to yourself can actually rewire your brain. Yes, there's real science behind this. Stick around because we're going to break it all down for you. By the end of this video, you'll have actionable steps to start using self-talk to transform your life. Whether it's success, happiness, or abundance you're after, this is the starting point. Welcome to World is Life, where we explore the tools to help you live your best life. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Now, let's get started. Before we talk about how to use self-talk to manifest anything in life, let's first understand what self-talk actually is. Simply put, self-talk is the internal dialogue that runs through your mind throughout the day. It's that little voice in your head that comments on everything you do, every thought you have, and every situation you find yourself in. Whether you realize it or not, you're constantly talking to yourself and the things you say to yourself can have a powerful effect on your reality. Self-talk isn't just mindless chatter, it's a direct reflection of your beliefs and attitudes. The way you talk to yourself can either lift you up or pull you down, and over time, this internal dialogue shapes the way you see yourself and the world around you. For example, if you're constantly telling yourself that you're not good enough, that you're bound to fail, or that things never go your way, those thoughts start to influence your actions. You may hesitate to take risks, avoid opportunities, or sabotage your own success without even realizing it. This is negative self-talk in action. Negative self-talk is like a constant stream of doubt, criticism, and fear. It feeds into your insecurities and keeps you stuck in a cycle of limiting beliefs. The more you repeat these negative thoughts, the stronger they become. Over time, they shape your reality, making it harder to break free from patterns of negativity and self-sabotage. On the flip side, there's positive self-talk. This is the kind of inner dialogue that encourages, motivates, and supports you. Positive self-talk can be as simple as telling yourself, I can do this, I am capable, or good things are coming my way. It's about reinforcing your strengths, focusing on your potential, and reminding yourself that you have the power to create positive change in your life. Just like negative self-talk, the more you engage in positive self-talk, the more it starts to influence your actions and beliefs. Positive self-talk helps to build self-confidence, resilience, and optimism. When you speak kindly to yourself, you're more likely to take bold steps toward your goals, embrace challenges with a positive mindset, and recover quickly from setbacks. It creates a self-fulfilling cycle. Positive thoughts lead to positive actions, which lead to positive outcomes, which then reinforce those positive thoughts. Over time, this can completely transform your reality. Self-talk isn't just about what you say to yourself in a single moment. It's about the ongoing conversation you have with yourself every day. These thoughts accumulate, and the more you repeat them, the more they become ingrained in your subconscious mind. This is where the real power of self-talk lies. When your subconscious mind believes something to be true, it starts to align your actions and your environment to match that belief. So if you're constantly telling yourself that you're worthy, capable, and deserving of success, your subconscious mind starts to look for opportunities to make that a reality. But the key here is consistency. Changing your self-talk isn't about repeating a few positive phrases every now and then. It's about creating a habit of talking to yourself in a way that empowers you. Your mind is always listening, and the more you feed it positive, empowering thoughts, the more it will work in your favor. Now that we understand what self-talk is and how it can shape our reality, let's dive into the science behind it. 
The idea that your thoughts can actually change your brain may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's backed by real science. This is where psychology and neuroscience meet the world of manifestation. To start, let's talk about how your brain works when it comes to thoughts and self-talk. Every thought you have sends electrical signals through your brain, creating neural pathways. These pathways are like roads your thoughts travel on, and the more you think a particular thought, the stronger the pathway becomes. This is why certain thoughts and patterns of thinking can become almost automatic over time. Your brain is essentially wired to think that way because it's used to traveling those same roads over and over again. This concept is known as neuroplasticity, which refers to the brain's ability to change and reorganize itself by forming new neural connections. When you engage in positive self-talk, you're actually helping to create new, more positive neural pathways. Over time, these new pathways become the dominant roads your brain takes, which means your default way of thinking starts to shift toward the positive. But here's where it gets even more interesting repetition is key. Just like building a muscle, strengthening these positive neural pathways requires practice and consistency. When you repeatedly tell yourself something positive, like I am capable, I am successful, or I am worthy, you're essentially rewiring your brain to believe these things. And once your brain believes it, your actions start to follow suit, leading to real, tangible changes in your life. This is why positive affirmations are so powerful. They're not just feel good statements, they're tools that can help you literally reshape your brain. The more you repeat them, the more they sink into your subconscious mind, which then influences your behavior and decisions. Your brain starts to see these affirmations as truth and you begin to act in ways that align with this new belief system. This brings us to the law of attraction, a concept many people associate with manifestation. The law of attraction is the idea that like attracts like meaning that the energy you put out into the world is the energy you attract back. So when your self-talk is positive and focused on abundance, success, and happiness, you're sending out that positive energy into the universe. And according to the law of attraction, the universe responds by bringing more of that energy back to you. But the connection between self-talk and the law of attraction goes even deeper. The law of attraction isn't just about external energy, it's also about the internal energy you create with your thoughts. When you engage in positive self-talk, you're not only putting out positive energy into the world, but you're also creating a positive internal environment. This internal shift helps align your thoughts, emotions, and actions with the things you want to manifest. Think of it like tuning a radio. If your thoughts are constantly tuned to a negative frequency focusing on lack, doubt, and fear, then that's the frequency you're broadcasting, and that's what you'll attract. But if you change the station and start tuning into a positive frequency focused on abundance, belief, and possibility, then that's the signal you're sending out, and that's what you'll attract back. So when you combine the science of neuroplasticity with the principles of the law of attraction, you can start to see how powerful self-talk really is. It's not just about thinking positively, it's about creating real changes in your brain that lead to real changes in your life. Now that we've explored what self-talk is and the science behind it, let's move on to the steps you can take to make your self-talk more effective for manifestation. These steps are simple yet powerful. And when practiced consistently, they can help you align your thoughts, actions, and reality with the life you want to create. The first step is to set clear intentions. Clarity is crucial when it comes to manifestation because your mind needs a precise target to focus on. If your intentions are vague, it's like trying to hit a moving target. You'll never quite get there. When you're clear about what you want, your mind can work more effectively to help you achieve it. Instead of saying something broad like, I want to be successful, try to get specific. What does success look like for you? Is it a particular job, a certain income level, or a lifestyle change? The more specific you are, the easier it is for your mind to visualize and work toward that goal. To formulate clear intentions, start by writing down exactly what you want to manifest. Be as detailed as possible and make sure your intentions are positive and focused on what you want rather than what you don't want. For example, instead of saying, 
I don't want to struggle financially, shift it to. I am financially abundant. Notice the difference in focus one is centered on avoiding negativity, while the other is centered on creating positivity. The next step is to use positive affirmations. Affirmations are powerful statements that help reprogram your subconscious mind by reinforcing positive beliefs. When creating your affirmations, it's important to make them personal and relevant to your goals. For example, if your goal is to build confidence, you might use an affirmation like, I am confident and capable in every situation if you're aiming to improve your health. An affirmation like, I am strong, healthy, and full of energy could be effective. It's essential to phrase your affirmations in a way that feels authentic to you. If an affirmation doesn't resonate with you, it won't be as effective. So take some time to craft statements that feel right and reflect what you truly want to believe. Personalizing your affirmations makes them more powerful because they become a reflection of your unique desires and aspirations. Another key element of effective self-talk is to speak in the present tense. This may seem simple, but it's incredibly important. When you talk to yourself as if your manifestation is already happening, you're sending a message to your brain that this is your current reality. For example, instead of saying, I will be successful, say, I am successful by speaking in the present tense, you're reinforcing the idea that what you desire is already yours, which helps to align your thoughts and actions with that reality. Structuring your self-talk in the present tense can feel a little strange at first, especially if you're not used to thinking this way. But the more you practice, the more natural it will become. You can even start with small changes in your daily self-talk like replacing I hope or I want. And with I am and I have these subtle shifts in language can have a big impact on how you perceive yourself and your goals. Visualization is another powerful tool that pairs well with self-talk. Visualization is the process of mentally picturing your desired outcome as if it's already happening. When you combine visualization with positive self-talk, you create a more vivid and convincing mental image of your goal. This helps to reinforce your belief that your manifestation is possible and already on its way to becoming reality. To enhance your self-talk with visualization, try to engage as many senses as possible when picturing your desired outcome. Imagine what it looks like, feels like, even what it sounds and smells like. The more detailed your mental image, the stronger the connection between your thoughts and your emotions, which amplifies the power of your manifestation. For example, if your goal is to achieve a promotion at work, visualize yourself in your new position, feel the excitement and confidence that comes with it, and imagine the sounds of your colleagues congratulating you. Finally, consistency and repetition are key to making self-talk an effective tool for manifestation. It's not enough to engage in positive self-talk once in a while, it needs to become a daily habit. Just as negative thoughts can take hold through repetition, Positive thoughts need regular reinforcement to become ingrained in your subconscious mind. This is where the real power of self-talk lies in the consistency of the message you're sending to yourself. Making self-talk a daily practice doesn't have to be complicated. It can be as simple as starting your day with a few positive affirmations or repeating them to yourself whenever you catch a moment of doubt creeping in. The important thing is to make it a regular part of your routine. The more you repeat your positive self-talk, the stronger those neural pathways become, and the more natural it will feel to think positively. Over time, this repetition helps to solidify your new beliefs and makes manifestation more likely. These steps work together to create a powerful system for transforming your thoughts and ultimately your reality. As powerful as self-talk can be for manifestation, it's easy to fall into some common pitfalls along the way. Many people start with high hopes but become frustrated when they don't see immediate results. Let's talk about these common mistakes, how to avoid them, and how to stay on track as you work toward manifesting your goals. One of the most common mistakes people make is being inconsistent with their self-talk. They might start strong with positive affirmations for a few days or weeks, but then life gets busy, doubts creep in, and the practice fades away. Manifestation requires more than occasional effort. It's about creating a consistent habit. Your brain needs regular reinforcement of positive thoughts to rewire itself and align with your desires. The solution? Make self-talk a daily ritual. Set aside specific times each day. 
like when you wake up or before you go to bed, to focus on your affirmations and intentions. Treat it like brushing your teeth, a non-negotiable part of your routine. Another common pitfall is falling back into negative self-talk without realizing it. You might be consciously repeating positive affirmations, but if your inner dialogue throughout the day is full of doubt and self-criticism, you're sending mixed signals to your brain. For example, you might tell yourself, I am successful, but later catch yourself thinking, this is never going to work. These conflicting messages dilute the power of your self-talk and can hinder your manifestation efforts. To overcome this, practice mindfulness. Start paying attention to the thoughts that pop up during your day, especially in challenging situations. When you notice negative self-talk creeping in, don't get frustrated, just gently steer your thoughts back to a more positive direction. It's all about awareness and course correction. The more you catch and correct negative thoughts, the less power they'll have over you. Another mistake is expecting instant results. Manifestation isn't like flipping a switch. It takes time for your new beliefs to take root and start producing visible changes in your life. Many people get discouraged when they don't see immediate results and give up too soon. But just like planting a seed, it takes patience for your efforts to grow into something tangible. Remember that manifestation is a process, and the results may not always appear in the exact way or timeline you expect. The key here is persistence. Stay focused on your goals and keep practicing your positive self-talk, even if you're not seeing immediate evidence of change. Trust that the work you're doing internally will eventually show up in your external reality. It's like building a house. Just because you can't see the finished structure right away doesn't mean the foundation isn't being laid. Another common pitfall is using vague or overly general affirmations. If your self-talk isn't specific enough, your brain doesn't have a clear picture of what you're working toward, which can make manifestation feel unfocused and difficult. Saying something like, I want to be happy while well-intentioned, is too broad for your mind to act on. Instead, break it down into more specific goals that represent what happiness means to you, whether that's improving your relationships, finding a fulfilling job, or building more confidence. To avoid this, refine your affirmations to be as detailed and specific as possible. The more clarity you have, the easier it is for your mind to align with your goals. If your intention is to improve your finances, for example, rather than saying, I am wealthy, you might say, I earn X amount of money every month doing work that I love this gives your brain a clear direction to focus on. Finally, a common mistake is letting self-doubt take over when things don't seem to be working. This is when many people start to question the process and lose faith in their ability to manifest what they want. But doubt is part of the journey, and it's something everyone faces at some point. The key is to acknowledge it without letting it derail you. When self-doubt arises, remind yourself that setbacks and slow progress don't mean failure, they're just part of the process. If you can stay patient, persistent, and consistent, you'll begin to see the power of your self-talk unfolding over time. Manifestation requires dedication, and by avoiding these common pitfalls, you'll be well on your way to turning your thoughts into reality. To truly understand the power of self-talk and manifestation, it helps to look at real-life examples of people who have successfully used these techniques to transform their lives. These stories show that while results can vary, the common thread is consistency and belief in the process. One well-known example is the story of Jim Carrey, the famous actor and comedian. Long before he became a household name, Carrey used the power of positive self-talk and visualization to manifest his success. In the early 1990s, when his acting career was still struggling, he wrote himself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered and dated it for Thanksgiving 1995. He kept this check in his wallet and looked at it regularly, using it as a reminder of his goal. By 1995, Carey had landed a starring role in Dumb and Dumber, earning exactly $10 million. His belief in himself, combined with the positive reinforcement he practiced daily, helped him manifest the success he desired. Another inspiring example is Oprah Winfrey. Throughout her life, Oprah has spoken about the importance of self-talk and how she uses positive affirmations to manifest the life she wants. Despite facing numerous challenges growing up, she always believed in her ability to succeed. 
Oprah has often credited her success to the power of intention, visualization, and speaking positivity into her life. She repeatedly told herself that she was destined for greatness, and that mindset helped her break through barriers and become one of the most influential women in the world. There's also the story of Arnold Schwarzenegger, who used self-talk and visualization to achieve his dreams in multiple fields. From his early days as a bodybuilder to becoming a Hollywood star and later the governor of California, Schwarzenegger was always focused on positive self-talk. He consistently visualized his success and spoke to himself as if he had already achieved his goals. He believed that his mind was just as important as his body in creating the life he wanted. And that belief played a significant role in his extraordinary achievements. These stories highlight the power of self-talk in manifesting success, but it's important to remember that results may vary for each person. Manifestation isn't about getting exactly what you want in a specific time frame. It's about staying consistent in your practice, believing in the process, and trusting that your efforts will pay off in ways that might even surprise you. Not every manifestation journey looks the same, but the key is to maintain faith in your vision, keep reinforcing it with positive self-talk, and remain open to the opportunities that align with your intentions. These real-life examples serve as reminders that while the road to manifestation can take different paths, consistency, belief, and a positive mindset can turn dreams into reality. In this video, we've explored how self-talk can be a powerful tool for manifesting your dreams and goals. We started by understanding what self-talk is and how it shapes our reality, both positively and negatively. Then we delved into the science behind it, showing how positive affirmations and consistent self-talk can actually rewire your brain and align your reality with your desires. We walked through practical steps from setting clear intentions and using positive affirmations to speaking in the present tense, visualizing your desired outcomes and maintaining consistency. Finally, we looked at real life success stories that illustrate the profound impact of effective self-talk. Now it's your turn to start practicing these techniques. Begin today by setting clear, specific intentions and incorporate positive affirmations into your daily routine. Remember, consistency and belief are key, so keep your self-talk positive and persistent. As you embark on this journey, remember the words of Mahatma Gandhi, the future depends on what you do today. Your thoughts and words have the power to shape your destiny, so use them wisely and with purpose. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, World is Life, for more inspiring content. Hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching, and here's to manifesting your best life.